some critics saying he is fake. Some people say this is simply the gesture and play and theater. There are many hundreds of speculations surround him. But Tapasya Guru is alone, completely independent and free from any individual speculation. He was born in the foot of Himalaya, combining the Indian spiritual civilization and Himalayan spiritual civilization and all Dharma lineage of the spiritual culture of the whole Asia. The modern thinking was very conditioned and the modern science and modern common sense don't know the profound truth of the spiritual culture. We know through him that realization of the world peace, transformation of the whole society and the world, and the bringing into the true light of the truth in the every heart and the soul of the all mankind, that person must be him. My name is Junsei Terasawa, and I was born in Japan, and uh, I am a disciple of the late, most venerable Fuji Guruji, and uh, our order is called Nipponza Myohoji. For last 40 years, as my Buddhist monk's life, I was traveling all over the world, praying for peace, and I have been in many conflict zones and place of war, place of danger. I first came to Nepal when I was 23 years old. We are praying for the uh, revival of the Lumbini, the birthplace of the Buddha, and we wanted to build the Peace Pagoda. We also came to Pokhara with our teacher, Fuji Guruji, and we trying to build the Peace Pagoda. Then what happened? At that time, the king of Nepal stopped stop us to develop any sacred place of the Buddha to develop. We are ordered no allowed to build Vishwa Shanti Stupa in Lumini. In Pokhara, we begin to build the Peace Pagoda by the effort of the landlord of that mountain of Pokhara. Then, when nearly it was completed, it was totally demolished and destroyed. Yes. We had such experience in Nepal. I was ready to go to Lumbini by taxi. And I using the taxi, and in the taxi, I find one photo. Once I saw this photo, I have a profound impression and feelings from this photograph. I asked him, driver, who is this person? And driver explained, it is Tapasya Guru who began Tapasya in the jungle without food and drinking. On one glimpse of that photograph, I felt difficult to explain the deep power and connection that I feel long time I am searching for such person to see. And when I saw this photograph, I changed all my plan, and I asked the driver to drove us to that place, and finally, in the new spot of the deep forest. He was in the total form of meditation. And it is my first darshan of him. I, with few my students from China, Russia, Ukraine and Japan, we half a day was uh, uh, circulating uh, around his tree and himself, observing his deep meditation, and had the first uh, darshan. We prayed that his pratinya, his promise, will be fully blessed by the divine power of the whole universe and cosmos. I was waiting this moment for a long time. Since I first came to know him, I believe it is a divine destiny and arrangement that I should come and meet to him. And I, I put my request 
that all my rest of the life will be ready to support all his divine mission for the sake of world peace and bringing the new era of the true Dharma to all mankind. I am here only to offer my life to assist his wish to save the world. And Guruji was smiling and fully accepting my promise and allowed me by his blessing to stay three days in his forest. I was spending with total bliss and peace and joy being in the forest, which was vibrating the full energy of his power of meditation and wisdom and compassion. We don't need any words. We even don't need any darshan. Just being in his forest, surrounded by his power and bliss and peace, divine power, I felt that I am in the greatest holy place in the world. It is throughout religious history and in contemporary world, no one are compared equal with him. And who is he? Through his old past life, he was prepared to be born now here in this world. He knew his mission and he knew why he was born in this world now. He is the true avatar, true Mahasattva through Mahapurush. And he prepared many, 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 many lives, especially in this most dangerous age of the mankind. It is the most noble mission of the greatest human being. And it is important, he was born in the foot of Himalaya, combining the Indian spiritual civilization and Himalayan spiritual civilization and all Dharma lineage of the spiritual culture of the whole Asia. He is the one who can unite all mankind's spiritual tradition. No one ever tried six years in the total tapasya, in the deepest jungle. No one ever. There are many high Lama and Rinpoche Dharma teachers and religious teachers of the world. But by his own reputation, by his own practice, he acclaimed the absolute spiritual authority. His experience and his knowledge, his spiritual, is too far for the ordinary people to grasp. But whatever he will advise and teach will be beneficial for all of us. The modern thinking was very conditioned, and the modern science and the modern common sense don't know the profound truth of the spiritual culture. We know some special person who are prepared for long lives before could practice such a high level of meditation. This coming years is a critical. Anything could happen. Political situation, economic situation, military situation, environmental situation, all indicating some big change, transformation will be inevitable. But this transformation will be catastrophic or the new beginning. It depends upon the everyone of this planet, new awakening, spiritual new awakening. This is only by the new true power of the Dharma. That new movement should begin. There are many speculations. His followers regard him as God and some others regard him as God. Some critics saying he is fake. Some people say this is simply the gesture and play and theater. There are many hundreds of speculations surround him. But Tapashya Guru 
is alone, completely independent, and free from any individual speculation. He is absolutely by himself. He knows who he is. He knows what is his form. Thank you.